Hello viewers and welcome to part 3 of my initial Dirt Showdown preview coverage. So one of the key modes has been 8 ball mode, let's take a look and see what it's all about here. So the stage is set, San Francisco 8 ball track, again this is one of the cars that you buy, a couple of races in, uh, and that's all, that's all going to change in the final version, no doubt the structure of it, this is a demo preview build, and again very very incomplete at this stage, there's still lots more to be added in every way but either way it gives you an indication of what it's all about and i really enjoyed this as i say i'm a racer i like to race but this is racing with a difference you need to be much more aggressive bashing into people you're not going to see clean drives on saying that i was trying to be clean here but you see i got hooked onto that car disaster so now i try and catch up as quickly as possible to uh, see if i can close the gap on the lead down in sixth place so this is me look, trying to be speedy, speeding across the uh, figure of eight section because you don't want to get hit in the side. I T-bone that guy, I didn't want to be T-bone myself. So you're always conscious of who's coming. Sometimes you might want to hit the brakes, let the car by. Sometimes you want to go really quick and just minimize your time as you go across that gap. Usually that's what I do, especially if you're unsighted with anyone who's coming. Otherwise you're going to feel it. Cutting my way through then and up into second place. I get tipped from behind disaster for me there so trying to close the gap now fourth place and the car handles really easily there's a little bit of wheel spin so you, you want to back out the throttle a little bit on those corners otherwise you just can't get out of them but with the boost it's kind of a get out of jail free card essentially so if you don't get traction you can just fire the boost and that recharges really quickly i don't know if in the final game the boost will charge differently there's a, again a lot of changes to be made in this so over the figure of eight gap, or the one of the, one of the two gaps, quite a, quite a risky one. As we take a quick look at the uh, end of that round, I was taken out, wrecked in that first one. So that was the end of my race, unfortunately. Got T-boned uh, going across the gap. And uh, that means a restart. So my first race wasn't successful. So knowing that now, this is a restart now, my second race. And I think, right, no mucking about, much more aggressive and missed everybody and went straight in the wall. <laughs> I was actually trying to take a couple of cars out, cars out and they sent me into the wall, lovely. So a long way behind now, down in sixth place, seventh place, so someone else has clearly been bashed out early on and it's time for me to close the gap. And this is quite a, a tough call, but there's, there's action everywhere, as you can see here, cars just taking each other out, so up in sixth place pretty quickly. I've already got a damaged car, so I'm already thinking, well, in the last race I got wrecked, this race I'm definitely going to get wrecked but I'll keep it as clean as possible especially on the front end now you can get taken out sometimes around this corner so if I take it recklessly fast it's always easy for someone to just tip you at your back end and just send you into a spin around behind the uh, swerve and deflect car bumper hanging off Getting a nice line on the inside you can see I actually get knocked here from behind. So I'll, that's what I was aware of. You need to actually boost into that corner. But again, it's about turning around, getting on with it, giving it everything you've got because there can always be mass pileups somewhere in the lead. You know, and you find the leader gets smashed out of the way. I was trapped there, helped by the other car coming through and managed to get away with it comfortably. And now just a lap or so to go trying to get myself up from third I'm focusing on victory now this is about racing for it going for it and getting up into second here maybe a little shunt there i just wanted to tap that guy into the wall and spin him out uh, got a little bit of boost left as we go on to the final lap so lap five of five and i've taken the lead now so i know a little bit of boost around here so i don't get taken out in this corner i, I knew he was close to me look how close he was down there right behind me they are really quick around that corner and again just trying to keep a nice line bashing into me save a bit of boost and give it boost across the line and that's a victory great fun it's love over. the eight ball they mode that was good fun uh, so i'll be playing more of the eight ball than anything else just because it's closest to racing really as well as the race racing modes i do like uh, sometimes it's a bit crazy it's a bit random uh, the, the gameplay is a lot of fun i wouldn't say there's anything uh, that you bring as an expert it's more about just enjoying the driving really like an arcade game it is a an art like an arcade machine of old if you like it's a uh, very visceral lots of action lots of shaking camera lots of different colored lighting and stuff like that but uh 
again, you know, for those that are looking for rally games, this is not a rally game, this is a dirt showdown, this is an extreme driving game. And I'll emphasize that in every video, along with the fact that this is a, an early preview version and uh, this is the PC, uh, PC version, this is a PS3 version running here as well. So as, I, as I've been driving it on my wheel. So it's great to see the direct feed as ever. You see all those additional details you couldn't see on my screen. And I'd like to share some of this with you. And for those that use external view, there's another video which will give you an idea of the external views as well on offer. Well, I say on offer, there's one external view, but seeing the gameplay from that view uh, on some of the later videos which we're going to be showing in this selection. So getting spun, moments like that are incredibly frustrating. I can imagine online when you really, really want to beat somebody and they spin you out like that. It's going to be horrible. And you get stuck at moments like that. That was a bit like the IndyCar race this weekend. Uh, they blocked the... Uh, Rubens Barrichello got, got spun out and blocked the entire track at the end and they had to stop. Anyway, away from IndyCar action, so the cars are bashing into each other across that T-junction. You always kind of hold your breath when you go across the junction so you, get, you don't get T-boned. There's that shunt as we come around this, this sort of final lap. A little bit of wheel spin. I think I might have been knocked there. Yep, I was getting knocked by that guy. So... There's a lot going on behind you. You feel you're just driving around and you just feel this little bash and you think, right, counter it. And sometimes you try to counter it, but the best way to counter it is just to get on the brakes. It depends if your cars kind of get locked together. So around these final couple of corners then, as we complete this eight ball race. And that's another mode looked at in Dirt Showdown. So as ever, in, in video one, we looked at the racing. Video two, we looked at Destruction Derby. In video three, we looked at the eight ball. And now uh, the next ones we're going to be looking at some of the Hoonigan events as well as a faster race as well. You can see the links here to click on which will take you to the different uh, videos in this selection. But uh, that's it from this video now. Uh, and as ever we'll have more Dirt Showdown uh, coming in the, in the coming days along with an extensive selection of video coverage later in May. But that's it from me for now viewers. More soon.